So you're trying to make viral content on social media, but you realize it's kind of hard. Today's video is going to be how to make viral content tips and tricks that nobody knows because no one wants to tell the fucking truth. Everyone wants to give bullshit lies and things like post consistently like that's not. So I'm going to reveal it all in this channel. All you got to do is keep on watching. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jade and welcome back to my channel. I just came back from New York, guys. I had an amazing meetup. Shout out to y'all who said, hey, guys, I apologize for the absence. We're just gonna dive right in. Just wanna make sure you remember how grateful I am for you and how I'm excited just to start this video. This is a video you heavily requested and I'm finally making it. It's how to go viral. <sighs> this video took me a lot to just come up with because I wanted to make sure I gave you guys the best. I have a few videos that picked up traction on this channel. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Besides that, I just learned a few things about how to create viral content. And I know you guys are creating accounts, profiles that need this attention in order to grow. So the way this video is gonna work is, you know what, it's been a while since I filmed the video, so like, let me, let me, let me recoil. Think about this. The last time you scrolled on your export page or your YouTube homepage, you only click on the video that interests you. Now you kind of want to pick up the familiarity of why you clicked on it. Was it one of those videos that had the white bars, you know what I'm talking about, that has like little text? Uh, or was it because it was just super eye-catching and the thumbnail had great content? You have to analyze why you yourself clicks on videos before you can actually make a video of your own. The idea of viral content is simple. Virality is easy to share and know it's widespread. So this entire video is gonna be formatted in three parts. We're gonna talk about creating content that actually engages people. The second thing we're gonna do is a little hack I've learned that will get you to the explore page, that will get you really relevant and go viral essentially. Last part of this video is just gonna be a tip that I think you should really know. Um, this is not necessarily a step-by-step -step process, although you guys can check that out maybe if you request it below. This is just one of my top three practices you should keep in mind when creating viral content. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna think about is the emotion. So BuzzFeed kind of announced their top headlines that get a lot of more clicks. So this is what the media uses. This is what mainstream modern socials use. And this is what you can use on your own page. First thing is confessions. So confessions do real great if you're trying to get that secret mood. The idea is people love sharing secrets because it provides inclusivity. Were you ever in school? You were that dude at the table that didn't know what the fuck's going on. You don't even know what's going on. It sucks. So if you play on the emotion of fear of missing out, which is confessions, you'll get a lot more reach. So maybe you do more titles or headlines called things you never knew. Some of my videos, my best performing videos, shut up! Some of my best performing videos on YouTube are nobody knows about this, check it out. If you guys can see the play on words has a huge role of it, play on being secretive. Next thing is broke. Now, when you play on the emotion of broke, you play on the emotion of scarcity. So for example, if you wanna do how to make money as a broke teenager, that gets more clicks than just how to make money. Do you guys see a lot of the videos you will do on Buzzfeed or Snapchat or just literally look on any headline, that should be good inspiration to make your own content. I literally sometimes go to the articles or CNN or Buzzfeed and I just look at the articles they're writing. I literally just take the headline Add my few words on it and call it a YouTube video. You guys can see that pattern. It's a huge hack of mine I've been doing. Just use what works and add your spin to it. The next thing is reveal. Reveal for me is exclusivity. Again, people don't want to miss out. Check out a few headlines that kind of revolve around, hey, this is something that you didn't see in the movies or this is something you never saw for the first time. Watch it again. Do you see what I mean? So like people love to increase the retention of their content by rewatching it. So maybe if you do a reveal, people keep watching it to find out what they're missing out. Missing out is the one of the top emotions you're gonna see I repeat about because people just don't wanna leave the crew. A lot of you guys are confused why your content's not going viral and it's literally just a picture of, of water. Like the blue water doesn't do shit, you know what I mean? Like a lot of you guys are posting selfies and the, the selfies don't do shit. What you need to do is play on emotions because emotions drive actions and actions drive results. Okay, listen, dude, I just realized I only gave three examples of emotions you can use for content, but there's like a jugillion more. So make sure you guys comment below if you guys want to see like a part two with other emotions you can use other than fear, because say you want to instill something positive, um, well, maybe that's a separate video. So just comment below if you'd like to see a couple more emotions you can use in your content that will go viral and will go on the explore page to reach more people. So remember that order, I always repeat this. In my last video, you can check it out with Little Tay. Little Tay is a good case study because she plays on the emotion of what the fuck. When you say what the fuck, you're most likely gonna share it to 
more and more people, right? You're going to tag your friend Jessica saying, what the fuck is this? That, what's going to happen is it drives result. Because you have to realize whatever emotion you play on, it needs to drive action for someone to share it. When someone shares it, the algorithm on Instagram and YouTube think, oh shit, they can't, the, the algorithm can't tell if it's bad or positive, right? It just says that they just see it as engagement. So a lot of the times you guys are confused why whoa, Vicky or Lil Tay or all these social media stars with no talent go viral. And they're smart, guys. You have to realize they're smart. Instagram can't tell if it's bad or positive. So even if they just see people tagging and it's negative energy, they're still going to boost the post because they see it as people watching it constantly because it's entertaining. The last thing I want to share with you guys is you need to understand virality has a time span. You're not going to go viral forever. That's the reason why viral is a word is because it's a short amount of time. Um, and you have to realize you need to take that attention and use it. I have to give you guys huge props for everyone doing social. It's freaking hard. But some of you guys are doing all this freaking work for no reason because you don't even know your end goal. Why are you doing this? What's the outcome you're looking for? I really want you to ask yourself, what's the outcome you want from this? I have a list of things you can decide from. These are more general terms. You still need to understand why you're doing this, why you're building an account, because it takes a while to hit your viral post. So in the meantime, in that struggle point, you need to be motivated. And a lot of you guys give up really early, and that's the point. It's gonna be a long journey, and if you have a bigger end goal, it's gonna be so much easier to push through. Even when you're not getting those views or likes, you're still seeing the end goal. Someone messaged me on Instagram saying, hey Jade, how do you stay so motivated? How do you how do you keep going when it sucks? You're, you're always moving. And guys, you have to realize some days are shit for me. I don't get any views. Or some days I don't get any income from my clients. Some days are shit. But the thing is, I don't think in three week trajectories, I don't think in a, like one month spans of, okay, if I don't hit this, I'm gonna be screwed. I legitimately, have milestones that are 36 month projections like I think long term and when you see it for the further when you're creating your account or you're trying to create viral content it's so much easier to push through because you know that if you fuck up right now it's okay because you have the next day and you can always approve from there because it's a long journey and it's a process so with that in mind think about the goals you have and the long-term projections point is I just want to make you sure you are think long term even when viral posts are short and you only have attention for so much time, you can take that awareness and convert it into something great, whether that's selling a product later on, creating more followers to be an affiliate. But please, please think about it because a lot of you guys will give up in the next few days because you're not thinking about your long-term projection. Plan for it and execute. All right, guys, I am sweating like a bitch. It is really hot in California, but I had to sit down and make this video because I owe you one. I truly care so, so much about you guys. Sometimes I sit on my DMs on Instagram and just say, wow, how lucky am I to have this amazing YouTube family? Um, if you haven't subscribed, what the fuck are you doing? Make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I'm so excited to see what you guys are up to. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Hey, I don't typically do this. Please comment below what you want to see next and let me know what you're up to. I legit, after this weekend in New York, meeting a lot of entrepreneurs, investors, and people in the industry, you guys are crushing it. Some of you guys came to me at the New York meetups um, and just were telling me your stories and it makes me excited. Oh my God, you guys are killing it. And I don't know, just want to give some encouragement and thankfulness that you are here. Um, I love you all. My name is Jade and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.